when you're talking to someone online, when you're trying to set up a financial service of some kind, when you're trying to set up an account or a payment card, one of the big questions that really comes up is, who are they? Are they really who they say they are? And obviously, if you've been in the financial services space, especially in the technology side of it, you've probably come across the terms KYC, know your customer, AML, anti-money laundering, and of course, IDNV, which is identity and verification. These things are extremely important, especially now in the age of remote work, remote connection, when we don't necessarily get to see people live and we want to verify that they really are who they say they are. On this episode, I'm speaking to Peter Murray of W2, who provides the technology to power your identity and verification, KYC, and of course, AML needs. He talks about how the business model is changing, how people require a more international service than ever before, and generally talks about some of the ways they've helped their customers. I met Peter during a virtual fintech conference called Pay360, organized by the Emerging Payments Association of the UK. We were obviously supposed to both be there with our own booths in way back early in 2020. However, that did not happen. So I approached Peter digitally in his booth and just struck up a conversation. So Peter, can you give me a quick introduction of what is W2, who you are, and how you operate? Firstly, thanks for walking up to the booth, booth myself. Uh, no, thanks for the chance to, to introduce yourselves. My name is Peter Murray. I head up sales here at W2. Uh, and W2, we're a single platform, single APA provider for all your compliance and your customer intelligence needs. So if you imagine that customer journey from somebody coming on a website, from their first land on, from identifying the device ID through to the more familiar surroundings of AML, KYC, and then on to that end of the journey where it might be a fraud check or something like that. It, I think the things we might do differently from some of the, of the names you might know out there is it's just pulling it all together in one spot. I think the drivers, both in the payments and any heavily regulated sector, uh, it's about less suppliers, not more, more streamlined approach to it, the scalability and sustainability of your business. So hopefully we find a fit within that. We've got client bases across heavily regulated markets like payments, financial services, and the gambling sector. But that's what we do. We try to make compliance easy. So how does a company start working with you? Is it about integrating an SDK or is there a deeper uh, sort of connection into what they do? How does it work? I think what happens first of all, we had, we normally start talking about that that customer journey, and that starts with some one of, for example, it's the normal stuff of one of the sales team trying to get a, a deeper understanding of your business. Because what we're not is is a product sales uh, company. The amount of services we provide are many. Nobody takes generally just one of them. So it's more of a conversation around your business and what you do, the challenges around that, um, how to differentiate your brand, and obviously maintain sustainability and profitability so it's a conversation with us we then bring in the various parts of the w2 team that can make that journey happen so for example if it is a simple compliance need it's the dev guys it's the onboarding team uh, and it's everybody else other than the sales guys who promise you the world it's everybody else who has to deliver it thankfully they're all great yeah it's, a, it's an initial conversation and i think it's been interesting the last few months because we've very much changed business format. So they decided to just remove friction and barriers from the process. Because of course, the world of charging money up front, putting a bunch of commitments in place, they know that world is over and they need to move forward in a different way. For us, it has to be about easing that journey. So we've not only hopefully got that product suite that can deliver, but we've made the commercials a lot more attractive. And that's why I think we sit, fell, sit well with uh, fintechs and the payment sector. Cool. Is there any client of yours that you can publicly talk about that is currently using your technology and that people might already be using and just don't know that it's you behind it? Um, I think it oh, depends which marketplace, but as we're at Pay360, if you look at we, when we announced today, which is probably good timing, which is a company called uh, Lannister, 
uh, they're new to the disruption around sort of uh, the payment sector. And that's, we've had a lot of success in that over the years because it is around uh, pulling all those systems together from a compliance point of view and then developing that into customer engagement. Uh, so that's one today. Another one we announced today is a company called uh, Verify, which are taking a new approach to uh, using document and facial recognition. Because I think a bit like, a bit like banks now, they're starting to realise that the differentiators aren't in that old school credit rating agency type of thing. It's about the tech. And I think if you ever meet our CEO, he's all about it's the tech, not the check. Yeah, he loves the cheesy lines, but that's what it's a business where we're going. And as we all know, identity verification isn't just about supporting the first country that you operate in, but it's actually a global enterprise. It's about understanding how your customers and their customers relate to a much more global audience and a global environment right now. So this is why I asked Peter how W2 operates outside of the more traditional markets. We are focused on where our customers are focused. And one of the recurring themes coming out of the Pay360 event was where growth is going to come from. And it's seamless and cross-border. But if anybody's concentrated on one particular market, so just say the UK for the moment, uh, then that's automatically going to limit what you do. And so for us, it's about cross-border trade and doing that seamlessly. Whether it's the 160 countries we can verify individuals in, or whether it's just that journey from one country and then document and facial recognition, for us, it has to be about the global aspect of it. Um, just trying to rely on um, providing one level of support uh, is not going to get allow us as a business to grow, and it's not going to allow our, our customers to grow. So for us, it's all about... Um, that seamless customer global journey. What about company verification? You mentioned you can identify people. Is company verification also part of the suite? Well, I think one of the biggest changes we've seen uh, over the last six to 12 months is all around KYB. Everybody knows, uh, know your customer KYC, but the, the, the fifth money laundering directors is essentially around the UBOs and the ultimate beneficial owners. The focus there is all around the business and that's become front and center. So thankfully we've just beefed up our offering in that because it's one of those things over the last couple of years that people thought was a nice to have. Now it's becoming absolutely business critical. So for us, that's a really important part of adding that into the offering. And since we were at Pay360, I asked Peter, what are the big takeaways from that event? What did he learn? And what did he hear was the big buzz in the payments and fintech industry? Probably two things. I think if we look at what COVID has affected the industry, so everybody in lockdown and that, it's legitimized fintech. So people that might have been thinking about it and people that were possibly looking at it, even if the big banks have suddenly got a headlong rush. So this, I think, quote, was 72% increase in app use five years growth in three months. So it's this drive to legitimize FinTech if, if it's needed that. And the, the other thing about me is the similarities between other regulated markets, which is around sort of scalability and sustainability, seamless and cross-border, and then speed and accuracy. Things are just getting quicker. And so ultimately the ones that are gonna win in any of these markets is of those that put the customer at the heart of what they do. So whether it's they call it hyper personalization, whatever you truly have to understand your customer. I think the W twos, most of this will replay our part in that, but it's all around collaboration and pulling all that together. So now that you know more about W two, this is the best way to reach Peter if you want to find out more. I think we're all on the usual LinkedIn and uh, Twitter and the w2globaldata.com website. But we do a lot on social media. So uh, you can find us on any of them, either through the W2 site or me as Peter Murray. Uh, so just reach out to, to all the usual channels and we'll get back to you straight away. I would like to thank Peter for taking the time to talk to us about W2. And if you're interested in hearing more conversations like this that go deeper into fintech, payments, and how the industry operates under the hood, 
definitely check out more episodes of Inside the Vacuum, where I speak to founders and technology providers in the financial services space, talking about how they work and interesting insights from the industry. Thank you. My name is Marcel. I'm the host of Inside the Vacuum podcast, and I hope to hear you soon. Take care.